Welcome to the 25A podcast. <laughs> Recorded oh live in the studio here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. That's what you do. All right. So Stacy already did that. So um, <laughs> we, we didn't, uh, I don't know how to introduce this. <laughs> So, okay, so it is the day after the St. Patrick's Day Parade, and we were fortunate enough to have um, my good rotten friend Lee um, bring... Stop calling him a rotten friend. He's he your best rotten. friend. I know, but I just I don't want him to get a big head about how much I care about him. <laughs> so, um, uh, Lee has been one of my dear friends for the better part of almost two decades. I can't believe it's that long. Um, he's my, my go-to for encouragement he's my go-to for help and he's also a pretty pretty terrible person um <laughs> so much for the, for what you just said all right i like to just button it up at the end okay. so um you and i have had incredibly uh uh stressful weeks you just got back from oxford how'd that go great i had an awesome time i, I got honored at parliament at dinner i like how you just just like you know I just it just rolls off the point. tongue yeah did they like you? Was yeah, it, they was actually it, it invited pleasant? me back. I'm, I'm going back to uh, help with some graduation ceremony stuff for Oxford in June. So Isn't that exciting? It is exciting. I'm excited. So it was. It even, just seems like you're not that as excited as I am I just for you. I don't want to brag about it because then when I do talk about it, everybody's like, stop bragging because nobody's like happy for you anymore. So it's like, <laughs> oh, you just got to, yeah, this happened. And like, yeah, I'm excited for myself. But everybody else is like, eat shit and die. That's exactly <laughs> what they think. I'm proud of you. Well, if thank that, you. I'm excited Moving for you. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> so Lee, Lee brought his uncle Paul Kostiak and um, our, our friend that I met um brendan from ireland who came over and they have um they're starting up some tours um and they don't want we shouldn't call it tours it, it to, honestly it's more experiences and for me i have at least firsthand knowledge of of what that means because back i think in like 2011 2012 we went over there to shoot a documentary um coming out soon um and that's where i first met brendan and you know, in Ireland, I, for people who haven't been there, it, I mean, we talk about it in the podcast, but it's really a magical place. Like, that's the best way to describe it. Um, it is. And the, and the people there are just so... And it's green, and it's just, it's you've everything. Never, I, I mean, look, we work in film. It's greener than a green screen. Yeah, like, it's beautiful. And it's it not really like a beautiful. harsh green. It's just like a lush... I don't know. You it, just it, need to go there. <laughs> you have to. And what and what these guys are trying to do is is they're trying to do um, take me home tours dot com and on Facebook it's Take Me Home Ireland. They're they're what they're trying to do is they're trying to do what the experience is that that we have, like the off the beaten path stuff. Like not the cliche like come to America, see Mount Rushmore. No, it's I know. Like, it, this is the good stuff. This is the stuff that, you know, really like the name of their company, Take Me Home. I mean, it really is just that. They want to, you know, connect you with your roots and your ancestors and I mean it's incredible. And he, he Brendan is so knowledgeable and I think that's awesome. Yeah, it's like talking to a road scholar i know and but that's who you want to be greeting you when you get and there it, and it's not like oh we should go see you know like the the travel brochure stuff it's the stuff that's like oh this is great pub down the street that mm -hmm. you got to meet that has so many yeah, interesting have characters the whole experience. yeah the whole experience. and and you know we're based in nepa and and you know what it, what i you know i don't know if people outside of this area listen but you know we're we have a lot of irish polish uh italian English like we're we, I mean Northeast Pennsylvania really is a melting pot of just culture and tradition and different nationalities and from different countries and we're so diverse but at the same time um, as Brent, Brendan uh, mentions in the podcast, he's like, you know, even though I'm 75% Irish, I'm 100% Irish, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, you know, and, and the kind of like in the, in the, in the harmonious idea of the St. Patrick's Day Parade where, you know, everybody's Irish today. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's, you needed to hear worldly. what he had to say today. I think I, it I was might good. Have, and I, I think there's a lot well, of people it who me. You know, you it gave me my perspective back. Good. You need that. Want. And I think other people will too, listening to it. I think it was amazing. I hope. I hope what we're doing is informative and entertaining. Those are the two those are the two things that that was our mission. Well good. <laughs> well then let's get into it. <laughs> let's start the intro. Uh, 
All right, so who are we with here? So we're with uh, the rottenest friend in the world, Lee Schaefer. And Lee Schaefer has brought along into my life... Who? <laughs> Too many people. <laughs> All right, so why don't you introduce your friends? Do okay. you want your, uh, your dosikis? <laughs> no. Uh, well, maybe. Are you going to walk away to get it? Uh, no, I'll tip over. It'll be amazing. No. Your legs I'll, will fly out from yeah. underneath you, and <laughs> I'll, be you'll be on start. your back like a turtle. <laughs> I'll, I'll be, like and then we'll have our again. family and friends lift if, you. If I lean over far <laughs> enough, this chair will buckle, and then it'll be like a fat guy mousetrap. <laughs> I, you're leaning back so far, you're off camera. <laughs> Which is like, That's why I told you to cut. Yeah. That's no. the best way to have yeah. it. Yeah. I should not be on camera. Lee, you look so... You're, I'm so happy you lost all that weight. You still don't fit on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, so we have so we have Uncle Paul Kostiak here. Yes. Um, immediately to my left, we have the beautiful Stacy Toy, and we have a transplant from across the aisle, Mr. Brent Brendan Farrell. Yes, a transplant. A transplant. Yeah, well, which not. used to be Paul's yeah. business. Yeah, it used to be my business. Transplants. Yeah. Well, he's going back. He's yeah. not staying. Okay. That would be a transplant <laughs> if he stayed. Oh. Well, I'm fr I'm from here. I don't speak correct English, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it almost went. You almost fell. <laughs> it almost been all mode. Mm -hmm. So, Brandon, what what in the hell are you doing in Scranton? I'm visiting. Why? <laughs> Who convinced there you? There is a reason. Um, I'm here. Did you come over to... for the parade? Yeah. Is this your first St. Patty's Day parade in Scranton? Uh, it's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, we call it Patties. I'm yeah, sorry. It's not Patties or Patties. All right. Is this the first St. Patrick's Day you've experienced? What you so in what, America? In America. Yes. So what's it like in 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 Ireland? It's a lot more low key. Um, <laughs> it's it's a day off work, which is, is always good. Is it really? Good. It's like a national yeah. holiday. But for most people, yeah. yeah. I'm actually working this St. Patrick's Day, which is a bit odd because it's net next week. Right. Not yesterday. We do it a week before. Yeah. I've yeah. noticed. Just practicing for the New York parade, I think. <laughs> so, uh, Certainly. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm uh, I'm in a bit of business with Paul here. I've come up with a concept, which hopefully people here will support. The idea is to bring Irish American and other people right back to our home place in the west coast of Ireland. The name of our company is Take Me Home Tours. You guys were in the parade, weren't you? We yes, were indeed. We were. Yeah. yeah, we we won something. Would you something. win? Well, I don't know. I think I won a beer. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had a beer. That was it. Yeah, we won nothing. <laughs> we yeah, really having a beer is a win. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 in a way. Getting up and getting dressed in the morning is a win. For so how did people. so how did so how did you and Paul meet to, okay, to well, do this? I've known Lee here for six well, years, since we all years. went to Ireland, right? You, yeah, were, yeah. you were there too. Yeah. Do you remember that? I was sober. Okay. I was sober. <laughs> so I remember. You're it. the one that does remember it. I do remember. Well, I filmed it. Yeah. So, yeah, it is so it. not only do I remember, I can show you. We've yeah. got a record, right? Uh -oh. So, look, I, I got very friendly with the guys. I was working as a, a volunteer for the local salmon festival committee. Right. I uh, I was the health and safety manager. And when I heard there was two rock bands from the States coming, I got very worried and concerned. Why? Why? Because it meant there was a lot of American people coming with a rock band as well. Uh, we're so, trouble. Yes. We're trouble. I knew yeah. it straight away. Yeah. Uh, but no, it was, as you know, it was a great time. It was a great week for our town. Uh, and we've stayed in contact ever since. So, three years ago, maybe two years <coughs> ago, oh, okay. Uncle Paul arrives. Oh, that's right. I remember when you all went. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We went and searched, uh, well, to take my grandmother. Yeah. He arrived on my doorstep. And, uh, literally. Yeah. 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 Literally. We had to. In a box. <laughs> We had to help him find home. Yep. Yep. You know, he was looking for his ancestors, genealogy yep. search and all that. Yep. Uh, I brought the guys to a couple of local historical monuments. Around my house, 10 miles east or west, we can go back 5,000 years in history. With are you shitting me? Things, no, I shit you not. Things 5, that are still standing. Mm -hmm. Things that are older than the Great Pyramids in Giza. Mm -hmm. We've got the oldest farm settlement discovered. You were there? in uh, West Western Europe, but pretty much worldwide. Um, so I just brought Paul around for a, for a bit of a spin. That's what we call it in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of it, he said, we should be doing this. Yep. We should be bringing people here, showing them. Is that how impactful it was for you? Oh, yeah. It, it well, I mean, was, was that your first time there? That I believe that was my first time yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, because you and, went with uh, Grandma. Yeah. And uh, it, it just... 
the impact of I was there first of all there with my 87 year old mother uh -huh. she was who, 85 at the time 85 at the time yeah. who sorry mom and uh, <laughs> 62 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, the reason that I wanted to take her there she had never been on a plane before and at 85 uh, at 85 had never been on a plane and so I convinced her um, to get on uh, on a plane with us and, and Lee and, and Lee's mom my sister and the four of us went and so Lee was on one side to counteract the weight on the other, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. just making sure. Yeah. He, he, he wasn't in the camera shop then either. No, he wasn't. So, yeah. um. So oh, the man. idea, the I idea, was much bigger than <laughs> you were yeah, much, you, you yeah. much bigger. Than. I'm very proud of you, yeah. man. Yeah. It, it, you know, we'll talk yeah. about that later. But I want to <laughs> keep going. Um, but I wanted to get my mom there because uh, her her roots were in Ireland, and uh, so I wanted, while she was still able, um, to get her there. And when we did that, it was amazing to me that as soon as we touched the ground, and when they say Ireland is green, it's green like you've never seen green. It's yeah. it's unbelievable, mm -hmm. and so. So as soon as we touched the ground, all she said for the first couple of days was, I can't believe I'm here. Really? I can't mm -hmm. believe I'm here. She got quite emotional one yeah. night when we went out for dinner in the local castle. Yeah. And yeah. Well, she's not she, a big boozer, is she? No, she's so not. So this was legitimate tears. Yeah. Yeah. This was a yeah. legitimate yeah. emotion. Yeah. 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 Well, when, yeah. Well, even when I went over there for the first time, like, it, you <clears throat> land and you're like, I feel like I'm home. That's like, I mean, I'm Irish and my family <laughs> came from yeah. England as well, but <laughs> all the places that I go to, like, I can tell that my ancestors were there and I usually end up finding something yeah. that is relation to the area that I'm in, but like yeah. you can feel it, like you're yeah. home. And it's good having you guys on because Stacy's whole loves like genealogy yes. and history. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. how many years back do you, does your records oh, go? Oh, geez. Well, on my Neville's side, I have them all the way back to like before the Battle of Hastings, like wow. 1082. Wow. But wow. <clears throat> I quit I doing drugs and started doing ancestry, <laughs> so I'm really good you're, at ancestry. You're, you're hooked on DNA. <laughs> yeah, she's hooked that's on DNA. My, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my problem. <laughs> I'm only back five generations, yeah. so that's my problem. Okay. So yeah. what was so what what was the what was the conversations transpiring when mom when mom like it really sunk in because that's got to be yep. that's got to be an astounding i mean for you for yep. brendan yep. for you to witness and yep. paul for you to be like it, to share that with your was, mom and stacy said it perfectly it's it's we we felt at home it, and i've been all over the world and it just it felt like home do you know and specifically what happened over the dinner uh, I, that's what i yeah that's yeah. what i want to know mm -hmm. my, my wife uh, marie was there myself paul uh, Lee and and Grandma, right? And Paul just said, "I feel so happy." That was it. I, yeah. He just said it. Yeah. You know, I feel so happy. Yeah. And she just, like she you just, see her glassing yeah. over. No, yeah. she didn't break down crying. No, I'm not saying yeah. she was like, "Oh my God, yeah. my mistakes! Yeah. Yes. I should have yeah. came here 40 years ago." Uh, yeah. uh, and there's a little of that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she. I mean, but yeah, it was a beautiful thing. But that's the interesting thing about about because I remember when we went over there, like I, I like I was busy, but at yeah. the same time, it was like. You had to take a couple moments to just be like, because my mom's her maiden name's O'Hearn. Yes. You know, okay. if you have an apostrophe, you're Irish. You're right. <laughs> so, so she, so she's never been over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my whole family like is steep. Well, they're Irish and Italian, so it's amazing they still get along. But um, they fight well. They fight. They, they do <laughs> fight well. But I, I, I didn't realize like. It was it was just like this weird feeling of of like it, it's like you know those like safety blankets that they put on people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the moment that that like that's the feeling that you get when you're yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, this absolutely. man yeah. nailed it. Yeah. Last time he was here or here there, so I, I still feel like I'm at home. Right the parade was only 24 hours. I know. Ago. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I I have a legitimate excuse. Yes. <laughs> but um, belonging was the word. That yeah. Paul used several times belonging. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah and yeah. I understand that. Right. But at the same time, I've grown up there, and I'm part of there. Yeah. So I probably feel the same way when I come over and meet guys like you. They make me so welcome. Just like what happened yesterday in that parade, where everybody was coming, shaking my hand, and you're the guy from Ireland. Welcome. You're the guy. Yeah, I was <laughs> the guy. Yeah. All, the, and all day yesterday, he was the guy from Ireland. Yeah. I can tell you, I probably had 200 business cards on my person, and when I got really? home last night, I had two left. <laughs> really? Yes. And right. I'd forgotten that those two were in that pocket. So I, I, it, it was amazing. The not just the welcome, but the interest and the the goodwill that was there. Like uh, I That's the feeling earlier. that I had for for yeah. for 
your country I don't know how to say but it but I, I think our people had that for you guys when you arrived as well and it is a genuine we were so welcome it's a very mm-hmm. genuine thing but um I think the message that I was trying to get across to people yesterday was firstly you have to come and stay with us right and see what we have the second thing that I tried to get across and I think people understood it was that what myself and Paul and Lee are doing here is a socially conscious project where I come from most kids go to university right and then they leave they leave the country to, well if it's not the country then it's the other side of the country but right because now because you're county mate which is on the which is on the west it's coast the west coast it's, right. the, it's the next parish to new york really? okay mm-hmm. oh my god really yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. wow so what we want to do and this is key we want to create jobs we're not here mm-hmm. trying to get rich quick or anything we, we're trying to create jobs and also create an experience so that people like you can bring your mom your dad or whoever it is bring them back to us you're so, be, so what's the concept of it I'm taking well, you home. Yeah, no, no, no. I know that, but like, if I was like, all right, I want to go. Tell me what I'm looking, what I'm looking at. Well, the first thing we would do is ask. Not you. bring Lee. Oh, well, sorry. Not bring Lee. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's breathing in the microphone right now like a rhino on its deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we would do, we would ask you. <laughs> that's just that's just hitting you. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. No, it's you're a, welcome. It's a delay. Yeah. yeah. Do you want he's, me to get you a, a, a bucket of food for you? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, Paul. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lee forgot his app. Focus, Keep going. focus. Yeah. Sorry. He has a slow earphone wire. It's a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. um, so the, the first thing we would do, we'd, we'd, we would ask you, what do you want to do? Because the, the whole concept of take me home is not to take you to someone else's home. Right. We want to take you to your home, your family's home, where your roots are. What do you want to see? What do you want to do? What do you want to experience? And I think that's what sets us apart uh, from others is that uh, we're looking to make your tour. I don't even like to use the word tour. Your your experience um, meaningful for you personally. So. But, but so what's so what I mean, Lee and I okay. were talking earlier yeah. and there's like this stereotypical like get on the bus. All yeah. right. There's yeah. the there's mm-hmm. Stonehenge, which is in a different country. Yeah. Look over the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, and then yeah. get back on the bus. It was right. Irish guys yeah. that built Stonehenge, by the mm-hmm. way. Was it really? Yeah. The English weren't strong enough to carry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, let's get we, just, we just we just we done. sent 10 guys over and we. It was all done. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. carried the stones yeah. for hundreds yeah. of miles. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen I've, I've been. Well, I mean, I heard a comedian say, I think it was Eddie Izzard. Where he's like, you know, oh, he's great. we're gonna, we're gonna, re- he's like in America, you're like, we're gonna restore this building to the way yeah. it was 30 years, 30 years ago. ago. Yeah. 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 And he's like, yeah. you know, over where we live. Yeah, I've got shoes older yeah. than that. Like, yeah. 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 I mean, what's, I mean, but, but there's historical things to yeah. see, but what's, I mean, it seems to me like what, what, at least Paul, like the first time you went, what you experienced was more spiritual and more right. Right. emotional than it yep. was, you know, because it's, it's it's not Disneyland. No. You know, and that's uh, the, but it's still magical, which is really yeah, strange. Yeah. There is a word that we've used a bit in promotion and yeah. in some other uh, discussions that we've had, and that's our organic. Uh, yeah. yeah. It is an organic experience yeah. all the way down to standing in the field with the cow beside you. We've got some great imagery yeah. on our Facebook page, okay. which we might yeah. be able to link to this. Uh, and on our website where it's as organic and green and wet and dirty as you want it to be <laughs> or you can stand on the sidewalk and look into the field and still yeah. get something similar but if you want to go all the way in and get down with nature right we'll bring you in there yeah. if you want to discover your your family's history and pretty much the parish they came from the church that they would have gone to the school they went to and the house they would have been born into we will find that for you. And all the while, we'll make you have fun. You will enjoy it. It'll be a, an experience that will hopefully stay in your memory and also promote the next visit when you bring somebody else. Well, here's the interesting thing that I've always... I mean, it was it was weird in Ireland because I was like... It, it was it was this feeling of... of like I, nobody treated you as a tourist. They treated you as a as a okay, like a countryman. You know, if if I go to your house, yeah. I'm, I'm not going on a tour. I'm coming to visit. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. And I'm like, here's and my bathroom. It's <laughs> <That's laughs> beautiful. It yeah, I've heard. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he's a terrible friend. He's a no, no, that inf- that information's already available on the internet. <laughs> you see, but, we we also we will make you laugh and we will make you cry. 
And yeah. that's but they're good tears. Crying a good one, yes. Yeah, they're not mm-hmm. like... Well, there's one set of bad tears that will always come, and that'll be the day you're going home. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. What I've been given as feedback is that when people get there, right, obviously they, they do what they do, and they're amazed, they have a great experience. Going home is really hard. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you want another day yeah. or you want another week. Yeah. You will want to come back. Yeah. On your flight sure. home, you know, you're, you're thinking next about trip. your next trip. I mean, that's, and, that's and literally, that's how that's Have how you ever been to anywhere else in the world where you felt that way? No, never. No. I mean, unequivocally, you no, could say. No, I've been to many places where it was beautiful, the culture was great, um, but I've never had that feeling, the feeling of belonging, the feeling of, um, boy, I, I have, I've got to go home, and when can I come back? Wait, no. when I go on trips, what's the biggest complaint you have about me? I bitch. Yeah, you bitch compl- all the time. You complain yeah. all I the complain time. All the time. Yeah. Do you remember me bitching or complaining in Ireland? Only the first day when you texted me when we left you on the couch sleeping and um, you. I'm scared. <laughs> you were in a strange oh, house in a strange. Couch. But I wasn't complaining. I was like, where did everyone go? I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Where yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. GPS isn't working on my phone. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Jesus. Even in Balana, like everybody was just like, we were. Th- so did you get that? Because I mean, literally, we were with rock stars and we and we felt like we were treated like rock stars but did you feel like a rock star yesterday i felt amazing yesterday yeah i I can genuinely say that again i've been around as well i've been to different places um sometimes people come and talk to you because they need something from you right sometimes they talk to you because they have to all i got yesterday was people who wanted to talk to me because they wanted to talk they they wanted to hear the accent yeah that came up a few times but they, they they wanted to. You have an accent? Yeah. Oh, apparently. Oh, all right. Apparently, I can't. Did, did, hear I, it. did I pick up in I about ten it. minutes of hanging out with him? Yeah, yeah. but it, it was a genuine welcome. Uh, Ballina, my town, is the sister city to right. Scranton. Mm-hmm. Now you call it a city. It's not a city. It's a town. It's eight thousand people. It's about, I think it's about the size of Dunmore, right, Lee? Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what I, what I'm laughing at there in my head is the thoughts of you waking up on a couch in this strange city. You cannot get lost in Ballina. It's not big enough. <laughs> It's not possible. Mm-hmm. And that makes it the ideal, how will I put it, the ideal base for yeah. a yeah. trip like yeah. the one we offer. Well, it, it, because it, you can walk around, it's it's safe. It's perfect. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's so you relaxed. You can swim in the river. Some me. people can. Yeah, and scared of fish. Yeah, and get arrested <laughs> maybe for it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> something that a lot of... I was surprised by this yesterday. This conversation came up a few times where I was talking to guys that were cops, retired cops, security people, service people. Um, my sister is a she's a police woman. She's never carried a gun. She's been the job for what, ten or fifteen years. She's never fired a firearm. We don't have them because we don't need them. It's safe. It's open. We respect our officers. I, that you, do you know? But what do you think keeps it safe? Do you just do you just think there's like a mutually it's, understood thing among yeah, everyone? Yeah, you don't don't be an ass. Yeah, and don't treat people bad if you can. Obviously, yeah. if you can help it. Right. So, in terms of tourism, right? Again, that's not a word I like to use when I'm talking <clears throat> about this business or this idea. To me, it seems like an adventure or a journey, yeah. mm-hmm. it, it, experience. It, yeah, it's experience. experience. Experience is the best yeah. thing that yeah. I think that yeah. you yeah. could say about. Yeah. It. I, I like visit as well, but when I think about tourism and I think about my own travels wherever I've been around the world. Um, you know, you get off a train in, say, Rome. You'd know this, Stacey. The first thing you see is three cops with guns hanging out of the pocket. Mm-hmm. Why did, you know, to me, that's alien. That's, why do they need this? Why, you know, what's the story? And it's the same here in America. I know that. And I'm not going into that conversation, but no, what, no, I'm, no, what I'm saying is... Week. Yeah. <laughs> the, and we'll still have no conclusion. Yeah. But the, <laughs> you, you can't get lost where we come from, yeah. and it's safe. Yeah. And I really want yeah. to get that across, because a lot of the people that I spoke to yesterday were middle-aged men and women who wanted to bring their older parents back. Mm-hmm. And whatever's holding them back, I don't know if it's economics or time or whatever, I wanted to make sure that there's no fear of it being too different or too dangerous or whatever because it's not like that. I mean, did you have to explain to them, like, like, look, you, it's almost it's almost like, it's literally chicken soup for the soul, like literally going yeah, over there. It's beautifully it's said. A, it's yeah. a subtle yeah. cliched, but yeah. like, you, you feel better, like you feel healthier, you feel mm-hmm. like a, like enlightened yeah. a little bit. But I think probably Paul and Stacey, they need to answer that because, again, I come oh, yeah, from, you're there. from there. Yeah. I, I'm so I don't get that. 
Yeah, I'm like trying I to... give it. I don't get yeah. it. Well, yeah. I mean, you even should when try I... it. It's a great place, Brendan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, must, I must come. Yeah. Yeah. Look at your door and feel yeah. grateful. Yeah. Well, yeah. didn't I tell you when I came back from I came back from London on Monday? I said to you, this is like my control alt delete. Like it's my restart every time I go back over to the UK or to Ireland. Like that's that's where I go to just get my like yeah. my bearings can, again and rejuvenate myself. I can think when I'm over there and I can't handle it here. It's I know, chaotic. me too. I want to go over there because I talk I, into the microphone, Lee. You're looking at your shoes. <laughs> I um I get over there and I can think clearly. Um obviously not like right now. Time <laughs> slows down a bit for me. I, I'm much happier. Um and do you want us to just buy you a house so you can leave? Yes, I would leave. Because <laughs> yeah. um, we're looking at I, I, I might actually do that someday. But um, when you get over there, it, it, there's every turn is a postcard, and you get lost in that moment. And there's another turn, around, and there's another thing that you can't even believe. Like, how is that possible? How is that real? Like, Don Patrick head, you know, like, yeah. you get to the cage of fields, um, and that's all 20 minutes from Ballina, um, and, and 10 minutes from his hometown of Kalala, and now I'm going over seven times in May, this seven trip over, and I, I'm still planning another trip, and another trip, and each time I come back, uh, two days before I fly home, I'm planning when can I get back, mm -hmm. and how could I weasel my way over again, and um, this... Well, you could find a way. Yeah, I'll always find a way, but... Because you're a weasel. <laughs> no, no, a big fat one. Um, so anyway, um, this... The experiences I have, I want other that I've had over there, thanks to this gentleman and, and uh, everybody else in town. Um, I want I want other people to have that that experience, that uh, unbelievable. Like I, I actually belong here. Like I feel that, um, and it, it just happened to be that we found out in December that. Uh, all three grandparents came from Mayo and in, in that town of Ballina. Um, and so when we found that out, the hair on the back of my neck stood up. Um, when standing at the GPS coordinates of my great grandmother's last known address, uh, mm -hmm. ironically, on his road. On his road. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Half a mile yeah. down, <laughs> overlooking yeah. the Moy. I was blown away by this information. But and it was all yeah. true. And it's all every, every day it was, we'd come back and we'd tell Brendan what, what we accomplished. Story. That day, and, and then we, he goes, "Oh, I know all that." Are you kidding you know me? Can I yeah. just put in for a yeah. second? Yeah, this is what we do. Really America. funny half it. Yes, yeah. you notice. We interrupt. Yeah, I thought you used to say, "Excuse me," but obviously <laughs> not here. Cut in, yeah. yeah. man. Just yeah. 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 You don't just have to do, do that. We're, we're on budget here. Yeah, no pleasant. <laughs> okay. No, but uh, something really strange happened yesterday. Uh, after we'd finished the parade, I was just walking back out of town. Uh, Lee's family were there: his sister and uh, nephew and nieces. Nieces, yeah. lovely family, great. People. People, right, and I looked across the road and I saw two two women walking past me, and I swear I know the relations in Ballina. Are you kidding me? I, I couldn't get them, I couldn't talk to them, but they were like doppelgangers for another set of sisters that I know, mm -hmm. and I just went. They're, they're, they're definitely from... They're just from well, they, I mean, they say, like, all roads lead to Scranton, but I think all roads lead to Ireland via Scranton. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, it's definitely yeah. coming through We're Scranton. We're in the middle. Yeah. 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 The um, all, As you walk through, like, growing up here in the, this valley, in this town of Avoca that I, I grew up in and love, uh, but in, in Scranton, the faces are the same. The names are the same. Names are the same. The names on the buildings of the businesses are the same. It's transplanted over, over mm -hmm. here. Um, you go over there, it's... I, I think... Think it's much prettier um, because I'm from here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Slightly. gorgeous. Uh, they have wonderful streets. Wait, wait, and let sidewalks. me ask a question, Brendan. Yo. Coming here, is it is it kind of like downgrading a little bit? <laughs> be careful. Like the view, be or careful. is like, or is it just like different? I don't need to be careful. I'm a massive pizza fan. Okay. okay. So going to Avoca is upgrading on my pizza. <laughs> Did you get him Ravel anything from Old Forge yet? Calarusos. You got him Calarusos? Yeah, yeah, we were there yeah. the other evening. A smorgasbord. Did you get him Arqueros or Not yet. Yeah. No, no. You can only oh, eat so boy. much pizza. We have too much in my fridge now. But we're going to go to other branch out, take him on the pizza yeah, tour. I think this is my visit, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you history and culture. Yeah. And he's going to give me pizza. <laughs> That's a good but, uh, these are the really reasons why I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> Just to counteract the uh, the upgrading on the pizza, right? I was also drinking a few uh, Guinness. Right. That was a bit of a downgrade, to be honest with you, because there is no pint of Guinness 
like the one you get at yeah. home as well. Mm-hmm. And there, it, well, they don't have extra cold or anything yeah. like that yeah. here. What's the, well, what's the difference in what they do with the Guinness when they ship it? It here? doesn't travel well. No. It's just one of those products. Yeah. If even like recently, back in January, I travelled over to Liverpool, which is in England. It's it's geographically, it's probably only about what a hundred miles or less from Dublin. Right. And it didn't taste the same as yeah. the other side of the water. It'd only been on a boat probably for a couple of hours. But <laughs> yeah, Paul, you were saying funny, like yeah. I've never, I've never, I've never enjoyed American Guinness, and I was kind of like, yeah. you know, I was on the trip with you guys in Ireland, and I was kind of sad because everyone's yeah. like, you could see this it. is yeah. delicious, yeah. and you're sober, yeah. and I'm like, God damn it, <laughs> <laughs> why can't I drink it? Yeah, you yeah. said it, it's it's so it, it's. It, it, I mean, is it is it is it one of those things where it's like I can't really explain it? Well, the, the only way I can explain it is, and it sounds strange because you're talking about beer. But it, it's got the consistency almost of chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. It's creamy, and and it's just that's the only but way I can describe light. it. Uh, but it's, yeah, it drinks light. Mm-hmm. It's an yeah. odd. Explaining it will never do it justice. Yeah. You gotta yeah. go. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But that's not the reason you gotta go. No, we're no, not no, here no, promoting no, drink. No, no, you know, it helps. It's like yeah. it's like a, it's like another sprinkle on the Sunday, but yeah. at the same yeah. time, like Correct. so what? So what? I mean, I mean, what? What do? You, why is it that? You guys feel compelled to do this, and is it, and is, it, is it because of moments like that you had with your mom? Yeah, because you want other people yeah. to. Because ex- in a yeah. weird way, like you experiencing other people's yeah. um, experiences. Yeah, it's a nice thing. Is, is a new yeah. and interesting experience yeah. for you. I, th- yeah. I think the social conscience that I spoke yeah. about there first right. yeah. has to be foremost. Yeah, absolutely. Top. Yeah. If we can develop. Uh, sorry, establish, we are developing, but if we can establish a firm foothold that will allow us to employ 10, 12, 15, 20 people, whatever it is, then our work yep. will be done yep. from that point of view. Um, but feeling compelled, the word compelled is a, is a, it's a good one. It's mm-hmm. not one that I've taught, you know, right. uh, in line with this, but I think that there is a... Do you know when you, when you got a job that you love? Yeah. It doesn't feel like work. You never have to work mm-hmm. a day again yeah. in your life. I'm struggling to get the right word out here. You're never working a day in your life. Mm-hmm. I think that what we're doing at the moment no. does not feel like work. No, not at all. Because it because it's so gra- I mean gratifying. I mean at, at some point like I get you know I, I look at what you guys are trying to do and I just see myself just getting frustrated because because people are just strange animals. Yeah, I find people are great. Yeah, but yeah. that's the thing about you. Yeah. You're like all of yeah. you guys are optimistic. Like no, no, however crappy the day is, you're all yeah. optimistic about it. Yeah, well, you know what yeah. I mean. Mm-hmm. But 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 where does that where does that come from? I'll give you, you a bit of coaching, man. All right. The, yeah, give this, me coach. Yeah. The, yeah. The best thing to remember when you're having this shitty day is that you're only one day away from the next day. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And every day is different. Yeah. If if you go to bed with a scowl on your face, right. I'll guarantee you, you will wake up with that scowl. Mm-hmm. You need to forgive the world <clears throat> and just. You know, wake like up you, happy. But when you travel around, do you look at the world and you go like when you because because I mean we're we're basically talking about I mean we're not basically we are talking about your home. Yes. Right. Yes. So when you go experience other places, like does it feel good to be home? Because in a weird way, like Ireland to to these two gentlemen feels like home, not home. Yeah. Right. There I, was a lot of pronouns there. Right. There was, yeah. But I I think I understood almost all of what you said there. Like, are you, <laughs> if, if, like if you go to if you go to Rome, you're like I can't wait to get home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Whereas honest, in like when, yeah. when they go to Avoca, yeah. they're like, I can't wait to go back to Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. It's a two way thing. I love being here, but uh, it's unusual for me to travel on my own. Yeah. I've got family. I've got a uh, four. You got a couple girls, don't you? I've got three girls and a, and a boy at home. Jeepers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so going away like this, even today, to me, is quite difficult, to be honest with you, you know? Because you still. You know? Well, I'm five hours. Between uh, my phone coverage isn't great. I'm looking at pictures and stuff that's going on at home. Right. Uh, but I'm here for a reason, and I'm very focused on what we're doing. So when I woke up this morning, I would have quite happily, if I could have gone through a portal and been in Ballina, I would have taken the portal. Yeah. But uh, it's only for a week, so. You know, but but isn't that home. isn't that striking? How how like where these guys are trying to get back to your house? I understand. So am I. Right. You know, yeah. because it's it's for some reason it just feels like home, and I don't think I don't think a lot of people around here realize how much, or or maybe they do, yeah. how much you know the Irish have influenced us. Yeah. Well, they, and how long and for how long? Again, an interesting concept, I suppose, that people have of America is that it's like a cocktail. 
and a bit of a hotbed and clashes and, you know, not maybe the most friendly or the, the most aligned and politically it's very detached. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'll use the word detached, and I'll, I'll stay out of that conversation. <laughs> but you know, there is a there is a conception and a misperception that some people I know have of Americans. They're loud, you know. They're big. They're you know, <laughs> you yeah. it in, man. <laughs> well, there is a sign right? in a pub. I know. What I'm it's, a, about. it's a misconception. My experience of American people has always been positive. I've been here several times. I've worked for the last 25 years with the American multinationals, including one of the biggest in the world. Right now, I, I'm with them 20 years. I have never had a bad experience of the American people or America. So while maybe some of you guys are sitting wondering about how do I get over to his house, <laughs> I think you should maybe appreciate your own house a little maybe, bit more maybe too. That's our, maybe that's our problem. This is a wonderful place, you know? Maybe it really is. Maybe that it, it's... You and I have talked about this. Our, our area is wonderful. We have a lot of the stuff going on here that mm. I love, and that's the reason why I'm still here. I could have gone anywhere mm. to work, and I choose to be here, and I really dislike when people downplay our area and say there's nothing to do here do you, have do you ever to, notice that our area is the area where like i can talk shit about it but if someone else yeah, does yeah yeah, yeah really yeah, but yeah. but i've actually yeah. you know this i've gone out and i get dirty wherever i go i i get into things um like i think you need to clarify a lot uh, of well it. Yeah. he gets into rivers <laughs> yeah yeah no well uh, if, whatever does, it is pictures <laughs> if it's on the mountains or in an art museum or volunteering uh, I'm involved in this valley. That's why I've made so many connections over the years. The reason why it means so much, Ireland means so much to me, is my grandmother, my history, knowing where it comes from. Um, and I've always been pulled there. Now, I want to go there so badly because when we left, I remember st st telling you on the way home, we landed, I'm like, I left there and I left the part of me and I have to go back and find it. I'm seven times over and now. I told you, I thought you, you just forgot your cell phone. Yeah, charger. yeah, no. But no, there's something in that soil and I was right. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm still going back searching for it. Um, but yes, yesterday was a perfect demonstration of that to me. Scranton's population is what? About 70,000. 70,000. Yeah. yeah, and I think Lackawanna County is what, 180 to 250? Something, yeah, something I like that, yeah. Well, okay. I, think, I think everybody of the 70,000 were out <laughs> yesterday. And what I could I th get I over we, was... I think we become the third biggest city in the state yeah. when yeah. that happens. Yeah. America, yes. Most exactly. of them were actually yeah. marching. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. 12,000 were you know? marching. 12,000 so, 12, people marching. I was on the parade. Parade. Yeah. It yeah. was yeah. crazy. Yeah. I, I 12, could not... 12,000. Yeah, I've seen the Dublin Parade. I've watched the New York Parade on TV. I I'd have a, a concept of how big or vast or large it is. But then yesterday, like, I mean, it was just, it was like going into a football stadium. The amount of people, and there was nobody giving out, there was nobody getting messy, it was, there was nobody rolling around drunk anyway when I, when I was on the street. Well, they pushed the, they pushed the eggs and eggs back then. Yeah, like, yeah. You're not allowed to do that anymore. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, it was great to see a community coming together. Then last night I heard a couple of people pretty much bad mouth and slamming certain things in Scranton. And I did stick my nose in. I said, you've got a great city here. You've got great people here. Right. You just need to open your eyes and see them. Like, mm -hmm. What did they do? They uh, agreed with me in the end and bought me a beer, I think. So, uh, yeah. yeah it went see, well. you know what? People the Irish are, nice. are very good at manipulating people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Into positivity. <laughs> I'm like... also six foot three. And six feet <laughs> stones. True. I, do, I don't tend to get <laughs> a lot of hassle. <laughs> but I don't see you, like, getting aggressive. I think, I think, I think, no, I think. Never. You, like, I don't need to. But for me to imagine that situation and, like, with, with true loving yeah. and honesty in your, in your, in your, in your words and your eyes saying, yeah. like, you guys need to stop. You really have a. You really should appreciate what you already have. Yeah. It, sometimes you just need things pointed out. I can be the same at home. Like it, it's sounding like I'm selling some sort of a fairy tale here, but we've got our issues. We've got sure. Some social problems. We've got yeah. e economic problems. The economic thing is what's driving this idea of creating jobs and you know, getting that contribution back. Um, at the end of the day, the good always outweighs the bad by. A million percent, right? In my view, right. And maybe that's an Irish attitude. Maybe it's the way my parents brought me up. It's certainly the kind of view that my wife, my kids, my brother, my sisters would hold. Right. It's not something we'd hold dear and kind of say right, we're right, like right. this. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's just how we are. Right. Uh, and I think it's probably a genetic thing too. 
and having seen Paul's experience with the genealogy firsthand, I can guarantee you that the genetic thing mm. is probably the biggest factor in who we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we'll do when you come, and you will come back, Marky, right? Yeah. I'm coming, yeah. yeah. But, but when we get we you to back and there. we show you. I gotta bring my Russian fiance. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. What's her name? Victoria. You met, just met her outside. Was that Did yeah, you meet her outside? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's mine. Yes, yeah. she, she wants to see <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm confused. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Every day. Why yeah. is she with me? Yeah. I have no idea. She's beautiful. Yeah, but, her uh, glasses are real thick. Uh, she's she's a, a, uh, her eyesight. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's great. She's yeah. a, white, a white stick girlfriend, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, Scranton to me is a, is a very homely place. I will just say it again. I, I thank everybody who made me so welcome yesterday. Yeah, but we love having you here. I loved, I loved even being like, I thought you were a friggin' road scholar when you're reading the, the Gaelic when we were there. And I was just like, yeah, that's just stuff that I learned in primary school and in, in but, junior you know, school. I'm, I'm sitting in here, I'm sitting in, a, in a, and as you're talking, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing this, this one question, which is, we all ask each other, where are you from? Uh, yeah, sure. Nobody has to ask you that. No. Yeah. Well, maybe... They Isn't that weird, know. though? Yeah. Because yeah. we're all from... Because, oh, well, I'm Irish, yeah, I'm yeah. Welsh, I'm oh, okay. German, I'm, sorry, yeah. I'm, yeah. A, I'm Italian, yeah, but, yeah. you know, when oh, when did your family get here? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, oh, you your family could have been there for 5,000 years. Yeah. <laughs> they, well, probably some of them were. Yeah. yeah. We've all had ancestors that were there 5,000 years ago, obviously, or we yeah, wouldn't be here now, right? Right, right. Somebody somewhere yeah. kept doing what they were yeah. doing. Yeah. <laughs> but it, I'm, I'm, similar, I'm similar to Stace in, in my lineage, my background. Uh, I was born in England. My, my mother's family were half English, half Irish. Then my Irish, my father's family were complete Irish. So I'm three quarters Irish if I go back, what is it, two generations. Right. But I'm 100% Irish. Not English. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent Irish, and you, with your German or your Italian or your Russian or your Polish, can be a hundred percent Irish. Just like you can also be a hundred percent Italian. It's your frame of mind and how you adjust to whatever setting you're in. When I go to England, I'm very happy to represent myself as an Irishman, full and knowing full well that I'm three quarters, and it right. makes no difference. <laughs> Do you, do you, do they, is there, I, I knew there was problems between England and Ireland for a while. Just 700 years now. I mean, I mean, a little bit of time, a little bit. Are you guys getting better now? Yeah, a lot better. There was a peace process that was implemented back in the, in the 90s. And I suppose going back to the safety of where we are, it is safe. Um, there were problems, uh, religious and social problems between Protestant groups and Catholic groups that stems from... Do those people want to be unionist British right. or Republican Irish? And in a certain part of the island, there's a mix there that right. find it difficult to, to co- To coexist. Yeah. But that's going on all over the world for the last, mm -hmm. however, forever, I would say. Yeah. You know? um, well, because I mean... I and mean, that defined us as a country, you know, back did. in the that's, 70s that's, and the 80s. Yes. My, my, my dad comes from... A border village. It's called Cullaville. It's near Cross McGlen in County Armagh. And it was a hotbed of nationalist Republican activity. It got very nasty. People died on both sides. Right. Um, and it was a very deep wound that took an awful lot of effort to, to fix. Now, it'll never be fully fixed because human memory will always maintain. But it's uh, there's no border there now. You don't have army on the streets. You don't have armed. Well, some maybe there are some armed police officers, well, you but see, you don't see them. But you see, like in the name of the father, movies like that, because that's what we're getting. Yes. You know, is it? And then you watch it in 1994, and it's 2018, yeah. and you still think that's the way it is. It's a, it's a totally different perspective, actually, that I get watching that film now than the one I had at the time. Because at the time, I knew that scenery. Right. Because I, I used to visit my grandparents there. That that was part of our life. But um, there's another film which I've been trying to get the guys to see. It's called The Wind That Shakes the Barley. Oh, it's Killian Murphy, yes. right? And that I haven't seen back, that yet. That goes back to the 1910s, 1920s. And that's a representation of Irishmen fighting Irishmen. That happened as well. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't talk about that so much, but, you know, there's been little wars and civil wars and kind of rebellions. The village that I grew up in, Kalala, was invaded by the French army in 1798. 
the famous General Humbert, or Humbert, yeah. brought three ships, a thousand French soldiers, came in, shot up the red coats, marched to Ballina, shot up the red coats, pretty much got halfway into the country before the British figured out what the hell to do with them. <laughs> and they got them eventually, right? Right. Um, that happened on my doorstep. Are you shitting me? No, the school I went to, looking out the window, the view of a very famous scene from uh, from that activity was right there. This happened, it was a matter of fact. Then in 1980, uh, a big film crew came and made a movie about it, uh, an epic movie called The Year of the French. I'd recommend anybody to watch that if you can get your hands on it. It's like a, a it's a movie, but it's a mini-series. It was done in three or four parts. Right. So we all got brought in as extras. Uh, the town got put back 300 years in time with all the facades Get and all. Here. Yeah, but it didn't take a whole lot of work to put it back 300 Isn't years. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so it, when you, you know, go... The dirt on the street. Yeah, they no, just but when I see, like, the Eddie Izzard thing, we're like, yeah. we're going to return this building the way it was 30 yeah. years yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Really not yeah. a lot of work to no, go back no. 300 yeah. years. It's like the Austin Powers thing, <laughs> one million dollars, you know? <laughs> yeah, think bigger, man, yeah? <laughs> but, uh, so, do, do you know, the, the, the Irish-British thing will always be an issue, because there was, as I say, I don't know, was it eight, nine, seven hundred years, a lot of history there where they came and took over our country, the potato famine, right. as it's called. We've got a different term for that. It wasn't a famine, because it, was, it wasn't a... It was like an embargo, wasn't it? It wasn't a lack of food. Our yeah. food went to, to the British. British. Yeah. So, oh, our people. food. So, you know... The, so the potato famine was more like the theft of potatoes. No. Yes, and the theft of, Lots of one million stuff. lives Ugh. in the ground. And then the, whatever, two million people got on boats to become you guys. Mm. Right I here. don't think a lot of people appreciate, yeah. like, the struggles yeah. that Ireland has gone through yeah. over its history. Yeah, I, I don't know because, again, I'm... Pretty well educated in all this. Yeah, we don't know. We don't no. know how. Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, just coming to America, the Irish were treated terribly, yeah. weren't they? Well, yeah. Well, oh yeah, sure. Nina, no yeah. Irish need apply. Yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. why there yeah. was that whole. I don't understand yeah. that, and I never yes. did. They're um, English here first. Well, there, there was another aspect as well, and I, I know it's represented absolutely terribly in a, in another movie, the, the, the Gangs of New York, right? Where you had the natives who were Irish people that had settled a bit earlier. Right. So they got their spot, and then more Irish came. So they didn't want the new guys coming because it was taking their territory. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But um, the struggle, the emotional struggle that Ireland still has when it looks at its history is, well, it's very obvious. We never had an army, and we still don't have a proper army, so we never won a war. You but know? you're still there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And always will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could say we're smarter or we're more determined or whatever. Uh, some people here, it was said to me last night, you're lucky. You're Irish, you must be lucky to look at the Irish, you know, at the charms. And it. That's not it at all. It's, uh, it's just that the people who were left did know how to catch a fish and cook their own dinner. They knew how to grow a carrot or a cabbage and they knew how to kill a pig or, you know, find wild fowl. And, um, but ultimately, it was a survival gene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If they manage to come through 900 years of this, there has to be something genetically embedded in all of us. Has to be. That makes us just a little bit tougher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's my. Yeah. That's my but picture. It, but, to, but to still have a, a tremendous amount of compassion. Yeah. Well, it, it, with with great loss comes great comes, love. Maybe. Well, comes yeah. great understanding of what loss is like. And you don't, have, and, and that's maybe that's maybe that's in the DNA is to not impart that any further, is in, to break the cycle of that. Yeah, in some. And really, what happened with the peace process I was talking about? What actually happened was that uh, in the end, they started releasing prisoners from both sides, and there had to be a bit of forgiveness. Yeah. And if you couldn't forgive, you had to at least accept. Um, Maybe that's the Irish trait that defines us more than every, every other one. We we do have yeah. an ability to accept. We're never going to forget. We're not stupid, you know. No. But uh, we'll no, I hope get you on. said that. No. no but, do you remember what I said you half an hour ago? <laughs> no, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember specifically what it was. <laughs> oh, after I said that. Uh, no, I thought that. I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> Very good. I said, looking forward to tomorrow. Yes. Yes, I remember mm -hmm. that. If anybody here wants to know how to be Irish as an Irish-American, if there's one 
thought that they can bring into every day that will help them to be more like the people I grew up with and know is to be positive. Because there's no other way. I'm talking to you and I'm looking you right in the nose because I, I know mean, you're not awful positive. No, no, I, no he I, needs uh, this speech. No, 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 no. Don't you think, Lee? No. Yes. I'm he does. He needs it. I'm optimistically cynical. Yeah. He's, does that make he sense? No, it it's a pile of horseshit. Do you know how I deal with that? What? Because I've got a few of those characteristics too. Yeah, yeah. So I told you, I'm, like I work in a factory. I'm an engineer that ended up being a warehouse manager who now is promoting tours. I also paint, I draw, and I sing, and I write. I knew that about you. Yeah, but a lot of Irish people you'll find are very creative because of these genetic those, those, yeah. uh, tendencies or whatever. So the frustration and the, God damn it. Right. The best way to deal with that is pick up a guitar or write a tune. Do you force yourself to do that sometimes? Yeah, I... Not, if, I don't, and yeah, I'm not saying force no. yourself, but like be like, I have, I'm, I have, I know I have to go do something if, right now. If creative. I'm if I'm writing songs and I find myself forcing it, I have to stand up and walk away because they're no good. If I'm drawing a picture or painting something, yeah, I, if it's force, it's fake. So no, I don't force. No, I'm not, but, but I don't mean out. like force it. Like like in other words, like if, if you're doing, if you're having that god oh, damn it moment, <clears throat> yeah, and I'll, I need to go paint something, or I should go sit in a field and just yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. Or hit a gym bag, or you know if that stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm not physical, f- f- because of I'm weak. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh so if me and Liam were getting a fight, it would yeah, be just yeah. like dust, and and then I'd be total. Yeah, no, you need to you need to avoid that. But so, um, yeah, it's what like so we did when if anybody gets to go over like what what. Like how do they? I want I, so, so number one, I want to know like how do how does everybody get in touch with you, okay. right? And then number two, um, the economic impacts that you want to have. I'd like to talk about that real yeah. quick. And then I mean the experience and the value because there's a difference between value and worth. Absolutely. Something costs yeah. something, but it me- can mean a hundred thousand yeah. times more than yeah. what it what it cost. Sometimes it costs nothing. Mm-hmm. That's true and too. It's worth yeah. everything. Unless yeah. somebody's paying for me to go to well, Ireland, though. I gotta. Yeah. <laughs> I think in, t- in terms of. How you get in contact with us? Yeah, you should speak to our marketing manager here, Paul. Yep. Um, we're Enlighten me, sir. We are on Facebook. Yep. We have our, a web page. Uh, our web page is www.takemehometours.com. Okay. Mm-hmm. On Facebook, we're Take Me Home Ireland. You can find us, and all the information is there. Uh, as Brandon says, we have uh, we have some lovely uh, pictures that'll it'll just put the bug in you. That, you know, you look at it. Are those pictures that you took? M- many of them. Yeah. 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 Do you want to Jer work on those? And Jer uh, does. I shoot them in Ron. He does. Yeah, he does a bunch uh, of stuff with them. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. then yeah. between my photos on my phone and that camera that I use, uh, I have enough for many brochures. <laughs> um, but can we get Lee to get a drone? Over there, uh, that Absolutely. would be great. We, we, we have, have a drone. We actually person. already have drone yeah. footage oh, okay. on the, yeah. on the right. Facebook yeah. page as well. There's yeah. a there's a friend of mine from Balna. His name is uh, David Beatty. Very very talented guy. Yeah, and uh, he's produced some. I mean, immaculate um, imagery for us. Gorgeous. Uh, it's absolutely immaculate. And even if you've no interest in ever getting on an aeroplane, if you've any interest in Ireland, have a look at it. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the page. Yeah. You know, push yeah. it on. It's uh, there's actually a community out there of people that similar to ourselves they're activists positive yeah. activists yeah. for change yeah positive change comes from actions our action is this right we've got communities around mail there's support not support groups but kind of friendships on facebook uh where i can guarantee if it says mayo in the in the name it's going to have twice as many followers or mm-hmm. uh, attendees or likes as a page that doesn't have Mayo of a similar ilk. Right. So, um, Mayo, the county Mayo, is, uh, we're, we're almost like a little clan of our own. Um, we've got our football team, which is... I know, you guys are... The most fun. famous team for being unsuccessful. Yeah. Wait, the most yeah. famous team for being unsuccessful? Yeah. Yeah. If, if I can yeah. put it into context, um, it's a bit like your Super Bowl here, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So the, the All-Ireland Football Final, it occurs every September. I think since 1989, I've attended 11 of those, 10, 11. 
we've lost them all there too and those were drawn games that had to be replayed and then we lost them <laughs> so in my lifetime in a football fierce county like right. Mayo yeah. it's a bit like Philly yeah. with the Eagles we, yeah. we lost our minds yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if, if and we I don't even like hockey <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I hate baseball too yeah. but yeah. right um, the, so the a part of the, the Irish imagination of Mayo <coughs> is a little bit sympathetic because we just have this record of struggling and underachieving and underachieving. Um, and it's a badge that we continue to wear until, until they actually go and win this thing, and they will win it. Yeah, but, but, when but, they do. but if anything, there's, there's an example of perseverance, mm -hmm. oh, not yeah, giving oh. up. Yeah, the word to yeah. me I was going to use was determination. Because yeah. you, yeah. you have to keep coming back. Yeah. You have to. Try again. Yeah. Yeah. We, were, we were there two years ago during yeah. September. Uh, was it, just, was it not just be Oh, crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. It's, time. crazy. It, yeah. it, it, it's and, and not... It's don't, controlled. don't, yeah, it's controlled and beautiful. Yeah. It's not oh, yeah. like uh, nobody, yeah. nobody stepping on the awning. Oh, no, for the, no, no, no. Yeah. Ritz Carlton down when, in Philadelphia. No, no, crazy. there's none of that. There's no climbing of the poles <laughs> that we have no, to go. They, they don't Crisco the no, poles. They don't have to Crisco no, 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 no. the poles. But when <laughs> I say. The victory yeah. Criscoing yeah, yeah, of the poles. Every house. Yeah. When every when house. I say crazy, the, the male colors are red and green. Right. It's on every house, every car. About the only things that aren't red and green over there. I don't think they paint their kids red and green. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. We, we've painted a yeah. few dogs and sheep yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but um, you know, the whole the whole county yeah. is is into it, and it's just in, and it's infectious. Yeah. You know, I came home and you know I, I, I you I, bought the shirt, man. I, didn't? I bought the shirt. I, you know, there's uh, a flag flying in a vocal. Flag flying county in a vocal. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, there's two. There's I've, two. Yeah, you yeah. have yours too, yeah. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have one. And there's I have a small male on flag his, on my car, and he drives around. I mean, it's 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 infectious. So it's an identity, Paul, isn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah, and that's part of we were talking so about DNA doing. earlier. Um, I, I think that's what makes it makes you feel at, at home over there is the DNA comes across the pond with them, and so that's the, the DNA that he was talking about is, yeah. is in us. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that's what you know makes things like the history and the, and the football yeah. um, just so. Why we're so drawn to it yeah. is because and, and it's just that's us. it, and that um, that goes back to why are we doing this? You know, my experience. Um, I mean, this people. is life changing for you. Oh, absolutely, and and I'm I've been doing genealogy a long time. Uh, um, my my grandfather's side, uh, my, my grandfather, my mother's side, is uh, descendant of Daniel Boone. So I've been doing uh, gene genealogy for a long time, and. Uh, so I've gotten to know a lot of people who are in, involved in genealogy, mm -hmm. especially uh, uh, Mayo groups and, and I, groups of, uh, that are Facebook uh, groups that are uh, specifically for people doing family searches in Ireland, a lot of information sharing and things like that. Now the big thing is post your DNA profile and yeah. try to find uh, distant relatives. But So I was doing that at the time, and so with my, my own first experience there, all of this, this stuff that I became literally infected with um, was like, oh my God, other people, the, uh, other people have to have to experience this because I know there are other people out there who are, um, you know, looking and searching and, and thinking about their Irish heritage. And so my thought was, um, there has to be a way for other people to experience that and that personal experience. And uh, ran into met this guy and mm -hmm. said, and I mean, and he's just he's a, a a library of history and, and local history and, and Irish history and everything and he's just uh, and if uh, I don't know it I'll make it up <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the wait, saying uh, I, I have a saying you never, you never let the truth minute. get in the way of a good story now he tells me <laughs> yeah. 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 making this shit up over here is where the first UFO landed yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no we had that in Carbondale yeah. here, so. yeah. Yeah. But, um, but you know we, but, you know, but uh, saying what you're saying yeah. is we're, when you mentioned Brendan before about yeah. like it's being in your DNA, I yeah. think a lot of people, like especially in this area, are almost through the door yes. to yeah. go, and yeah. and they just yeah. need that it's extra, just, that that, just like that little. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, something. just one more step. Yeah. yeah. You, you yeah. know, there was something that struck me again last night, and I suppose the night before, conversing with people who want to come to Ireland. Uh, one thing that I realised was that there were a lot of people who actually didn't know how to go about it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Which I was very surprised about. Right. For a country like the USA that's so... 50 nifty United well, States. Famous yeah. for its market and its ability to sell stuff. 
a lot of people genuinely didn't know. Right. And How no, to get there. And no problem. Well, they think so, it costs like $10,000. That's it. Yeah. And they're like, no. That was my next point. Yeah, yeah. yeah they do. They, yeah, yeah, they, they think everything yeah. costs so much money. Yeah. And while it can cost that much money, it doesn't have to. No. I mean, no. I don't think no. I've ever spent that much money. No. And I've no. like I've been to 50 no. countries. I mean, it's cheaper for me to fly from, from here to Shannon mm -hmm. than it is to go from here to Chicago. It is. It is. Yeah, so it, I was yeah, just looking at that. $300. Isn't that crazy? My last my last trip over in December with Paul, um, we spent like what well, are there eight nine days, yeah. um, and I didn't like sleep. Well, I wasn't sleeping in a hostel on a cot. No, no. I, 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 nice I, I had a, a balcony overlooking the Moy yeah, um, yeah. on a beautiful street. You you walked by it on the way to Vinci's, yeah. and yeah. the flight, everything else, like yeah. literally under a grand. Yeah. You had, and that's food, booze, yeah. mm -hmm. living can it I, up. Can I? Well, the only reason your booze is cheap is because you made us pay for it. As long as you don't get liquor over there, because liquor, you know, is a little bit more That's expensive. True. Oh, I, dr I tried yeah. to drink Jameson I mean, out of Jameson. I, so I complained a lot before I went to Ireland with Lee. Yes. Right? And my biggest complaint of all was because the cliched stereotype here is like Irish cuisine. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. it's not. It's totally I horrible. could not yeah, believe yeah. how good. Have you ever had a better fresh, dinner? Yeah. There was not I, like no. I, it, it was like no. I, I there was some meals where I ate like a pig where if I ate like that in America, I'd need yeah. like two days of yeah. rehab just yeah. to be like, oh, I don't, even I don't, I don't feel, feel good about great. everything I did. On top of that, the cuisine is one thing and we've actually. The food was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've partnered with a, a local hotel yeah. as yeah. our destination of choice, right? who have an outstanding chef who is going to hopefully get involved with some of our activities yep. too. Oh, that'd be great. One yep. of the activities that I really want to be able to do, presuming weather and conditions are right, is to help people go and catch their own dinner. Mm -hmm. So we can bring you into the ocean, yep. which is two miles from my house, three yep. miles. Wait, um, wait, the Atlantic Ocean is yes. two miles from your house? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Kalala Bay. It Kalala comes Bay. in right around yeah. us, okay? This is where Humbert, Humbert yeah. Yeah. sailed in yeah. his three French frigates. All right, I will to, walk over and yeah. we'll get rid of the British. <laughs> yes, he, d cool. he didn't improve the cooking while he was there, but <laughs> what we can do is we can bring you out to the bay mm -hmm. yeah. in a very safe environment again. You can catch your cod, your ling, your sea trout, your salmon, whatever. It is. You have all that there? Yeah, we can box trout, or sorry, crabs, lobsters, uh, shellfish of a great range. We can forage for some wild uh, herbs and vegetables around the seashore. We can bring them back, show you how to cook them, then cook them and then let you eat them. Mm -hmm. So you'll bring a skill home. You will actually learn how to yeah. how to do this for your friends yeah. then when you get home as well. It's just one of the things we're doing. And that's the, the joke, the myth about Irish food, or you know, yeah. potatoes and cabbage, or ham and bacon. I've, again, obviously, I've eaten everywhere I've gone to, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> most places, yeah. and uh, the food, the restaurants in Ballina, the circuit, the, the scene that we have in our town. Uh, if you want a Chinese meal, we've got a great place looking over the river. Yeah, with that the church. Do you remember no, what the concert was? Yes, right above that. Yes, fantastic restaurants. Thai. Chinese, Irish are very big. But, you know, we've got places where you can sit in a courtyard and have a glass of wine while you're waiting for your dinner. Uh, if you want to go in and listen to a bit of live music... You have great live dinner. music. Yeah, you, you mm -hmm. understand yeah. that. Yeah. So it's... Um, in terms of work, I said, this doesn't feel like work to me. Yeah. Myself and Paul don't... And Lee will vouch yeah. for this. We don't actually have any work to do in terms of creating a product. It's right. there. Because it's all right yeah. there. Yeah. All we have to do is show you where it is. Show you where it is. Right. Yeah. And make sure we get you out yeah. of there again safe and sound. And, and help you get there. To that's, the next. that's it. So how does... So how, how, do you, how do you employ... Like, how does this How does this work? You know, you creating... Yeah. And what people don't realize, maybe they don't realize or they just take it for granted, is mm -hmm. creating jobs is a good thing. <laughs> yes, yeah, we yeah, think people so. Play yeah. tax, people yeah. pay taxes out yeah. of those. Yes. You, you yeah. know, it goes, it goes back into, yeah. you know, pe people having to be, able, to be able to take care of their families or Absolutely. at least participate mm -hmm. in taking care of their families. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why is, why is that so important to you and what, and what would some of those positions be? Okay. Well, firstly, I suppose the, the level of importance or whatever, it's, it's a geographical issue. We're on the west coast of Ireland. Mm -hmm. So we are quite remote. We're an outpost in Europe. At the same time, we've got some large multinational American companies that have come into our town and into our area, set up successful businesses. And when they've hired the local people, I know this from working for one of them, the asset of most value or worth 
is the people. Right. We've got a very highly educated young population. Our kids go to university generally, or if not, they'll do a, uh, uh, what you call an apprenticeship, or right. they will get life skills directly from school. But we find is a lot of those people, for economic reasons, have to go. If you go to Sydney, Australia, you go to Toronto, Canada, and you walk around with a sign saying, I'm from Ballina, I'll guarantee you'll have 10 people around you, you know, like yeah, that. We have, really? Uh, we, yeah. we have friends that we've met in Ireland yes. six years ago that are in Sydney now. Yeah, so that's that, that kind of makes it real in terms right. of, you know, I've got four kids, and I'd rather if all of them could live and work at home if they choose to. Right. If they choose to travel, I'm all for that too. I wouldn't be one to hold them back, but it's nice to have the option. So right. job creation to me is, is important. It's a social conscience. That's Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a job because somebody went to the trouble of creating that opportunity. Correct. Right, some time ago. So this is an opportunity for myself, Paulie, to put something together, to, to do something similar. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like sponsoring right. a child. Yeah. Well, Lee is a big child. <laughs> I'm just going to harass you the whole time because I love you yeah, so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've been doing it for an hour. Yeah. So, um, Let him go. <laughs> bringing people from but, here over there. I mean, but that's, you, you're creating a commerce. Yeah. You're creating a business that, that in Mayo, in, in the West, along the Atlantic Way, normally wouldn't have happened. Yeah. The Atlantic Way is gorgeous. It's yeah. the most breathtaking road I've ever been yeah. on. Is it the one you were driving out with the sheep? Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And the cows. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. The, the it, wild, on, the wild You're Atlantic in their way. field. Yeah. You're not, they're not on your road. Yes. You're in so, their field. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a good way to... Yeah. Yeah. So, and um, they let you know that, too. Yeah. Uh, and they'll yeah. take their time getting out of the way. Wait, you showed me the video of the ram. Didn't you? Didn't you have a ram? Yeah. Uh, was that you? Yeah, probably. I, I was it was just it was one ram, ram walking down yeah, the street. Yeah, yes, yes, that was the last one. <coughs> was yes. that? The ram's like, you're going to go as fast as they allow you. It is important to say that that is not yeah. 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 Ireland. So. That is not what Mayo yeah. looks like all the time. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's just, you know, well, I, we had two American guys driving down the wrong way. So On a road that wasn't a road. It really was not the ram's fault. So I want I want to make it clear, I was not driving. Yeah. I really want everyone that I know who feels the way I did for so many years that I need to get there because of my grandmother, my grandmother's family, or my friends. I, like so many of us here, we're all, most of us have Irish roots. Every town is a little diversity between Polish and, and Irish and Italian. Italian. Yeah. And uh, those families have intermixed. But it, it's pulling at not just me. It's not me. It's everyone. That's why we have a giant festival. Yeah. Here, yeah. a parade, and there's pride in this. There's people walking around with Irish flag tattoos and the fighting Irish, and mm -hmm. Notre Dame is a big deal here. Um, Boston Celtics, so, Boston, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Celtics. Like, it's pronounced Celtics. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Why don't you tell them? Yeah. So, <laughs> but anyway, tell the people um, Boston that. <laughs> the, so when you you feel that and you're trying to. You're, you're always interested. Everyone is interested in your Irish, her, er, Irish heritage. We talk about our surnames, like, oh, you're an O'Hearn, you're a, a Malarkey, yeah. you're an Allen, you're a Boone, you're a, a, a Melvin, mm -hmm. uh, O'Brien. We all have those names. We all know someone with those names. Those people need to, I feel, need to have the same experience as I do. Eye-opening, jaw-dropping, is this real? Is, is what I'm seeing in front of me actually? Actually real. Yeah, every turn was surreal. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, unbelievable. And then you get the history on it from the Cage of Fields to um, the Kalala uh, the Tower. Well, that's, the, um, that's something that yeah. most people don't, don't have is like, and, oh, what is that? What, and, yeah, right. what so, does that mean? What happened there? But, but you guy learn right here. when you but, see it. Yeah. When you're well, that's what Brendan there. There. comes yeah. in. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. Guy right there. But, it is, yeah. You care extent. about it yeah, I, oh, it's I, in front of you. I care deeply about it. I've always been curious about history. But you care about it as an outsider. Outsider, when you go somewhere and it's right there, right. you're like, wow, because it's actually right here. I actually care about it. Yeah, you know? okay, and, and okay. you actually get to, you know. Yeah, like when, when you travel, Stacey, sorry, when, when you travel, do you go on these 
as I call it, plastic, these organized tours, you oh, know, no like, way. no, no. I, I mean, you like, like to get off the road, right? Yes. I like to go off yeah. and see things. And I, I usually meet up usually with other genealogists in the different countries. Yeah. Um, but I usually go to concentration camps for vacation. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm a big <laughs> history fan, but I love things She's that are, morbid. Yeah, uh, wow. are off the beaten path. So like I'll go in Poland, you know, to the fields where they'll like the tanks would, to would come in and, and, and they had the horses fighting the tanks yeah, because, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like those places that aren't yeah. the normal touristy place. I mean, yeah. you like to, I like to go see them just to say I've seen them, but then I'm like, let's go an hour south from yeah. here and yeah, like, let's her, drive. But, but to her point, we yeah. made a national park out of Gettysburg yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and right outside his door was where the French. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes. You know what I mean? and, there, mm-hmm. and there's probably no national park there. No, no. There's, a, there's a plaque. A plaque. There's yeah. a statue. The, the bust of General Humbert is there. Humbert. Uh, Humbert. <laughs> Très bien. Très bien. <laughs> um, the, the cottages where Paul and Lee stayed the, the the old, I think two or three tours ago. The old deanery. Yeah. Well, the deanery cottages. Yeah. The deanery was the building in Clala that was owned by the bishop. So the bishop was the most important guy. He was the, the wealthiest guy as well. And when Humbert came in, he took that building as his headquarters on the steps, proclaimed an Irish Republic of sorts, which back then there was a lot of pro- proclamations made, you know. Right. Um, but... When Paul and Lee were here a couple of, it was last year, the year before, they actually sat on we the same wall there. and they walked in the same thing that's, and the cottages like are in the garden. How garden. weird yeah. is that? Yeah. Like yeah. how like, yeah. and it shouldn't be weird. It should be, no, it should no, be no. amazing. Yeah. But, but it to is, me it, it seems it, weird. There is no weirdness. How it is, is amazing. How old is yes. the round tower? The round tower is probably a thousand years old. A thousand year old. Yeah. Did we go to that? Yes. Yeah, I brought we you there. there. That's right, you did. It's a thousand years old. We woke up every morning having our coffee looking out the window. Staring at it. Looking at a thousand year old We slept below it. Like literally 50 feet from it. shadow. I know your other window, you were looking at, at Kalala the Bay, Bay. Kalala yeah. Bay, watching yeah. the tide go out what, and come yeah. in. You could throw a stone from their sitting room and yeah. hit the wall. And then one morning we wake up and so they're, they're running some sort of decathlon or, or yeah. whatever. They're yeah. swimming through the the the, yeah, the train on the banks. Yeah, yeah. on the banks, and yeah. it, it was amazing. Yeah. And then you walk up, you you go to the village inn, you meet a man named Aiden and behind the yeah. pub, and you, you have meet all Paul's friends. They're, yeah, they're still yeah. asking about. So him. you have the most unbelievable, the freshest <laughs> yeah. They're mentioning names of people here in Scranton and ask me if I know. Yeah. yeah, and and this is a village of seven hundred people. Seven hundred people. One yeah. pub in the town. Uh, there's uh, uh, and two, well, there's three. more. Yeah, yeah there's I, three pubs. Yeah. And I, I'd go there, you know, when we get done with our genealogy, we spend a lot of time going through cemeteries. Uh, in those genealogy. are my favorite places. Yeah, yeah. I and, have to go and, to cemeteries. Yeah. You know, every okay. cemetery I go through, I spent more time taking pictures of there's headstones of, of friends of mine. The same oh, name. Oh, oh, there's a Duffy. I have to yeah. send this. Yeah. Or the exact the same, same name. I do the same thing. Or you know, and so I'm I'm taking pictures of just about everything but at the end of the day we'd come back and uh, we'd go to the village inn uh, to see Aiden and uh, maybe have a pint and uh, best best fish and chips in the world by the way I have to put in a yeah pint. I agree yeah. and uh, I'd, I'd walk we'd walk in and, and and people in the pub would say so did you find anything Paul today how mm-hmm. how did you do in your search mm-hmm. it, it, it's, only they don't talk like that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're much better that's, that's like Tom Cruise in yeah. that film about the box Far away. Uh, about the box. Right, yeah. I, won't, yeah. I won't do that anymore. How are you doing, Megara? Uh, I'm not going to go over there, Nicole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. All right, so. But, so. You know, Scientology. <laughs> but, the, you know, the interest that they had was just, it's just amazing. They would help you. Yeah. Like, yeah, but they were interested in the yeah. fact that he so, was interested. Yeah. But of, we yeah. actually got help from them, and they're like, yeah. oh, yeah. he's a Cardin down yeah, the road, yeah, or married yeah. to a Cardin. Yeah, one of the lines we were looking and, at was Cardin, so, and they'd say, oh, well, that guy down the end of the bar there, he's a Cardin. And uh, yeah, and then and then they said, well, there's a card and there's a Pete's card and he plays guitar and he lo- yeah oh yeah. And he looks just like you Lee yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's playing down the yeah. road at the Marymount at the it, Marymount it's but it, it, yeah. in a weird way it seems like you're you're yeah. investigating your own life yeah. it's yeah. detective work yeah. yeah but you, but, but it's, it, it has no yeah. stress no <laughs> it's yeah. un- and every everything is amazing like so our last time it's like it's like being a detective where everyone wants to be a witness so yes. Yes. yeah just come yeah. forward oh, first. yes everyone wants to say they, this is where you go this is where you came in. Involved yeah. in it. They want mm-hmm. you to win. You know, yes. We see. found uh, through the, the North uh, Mayo Genealogical Center in Enesco, um, they've they're been a fantastic help for us. Brilliant. Um, they've, they've done research uh, for us for, that have taken back five, six centuries. But they... Um, they gave us one piece of information about a, a farm in a little village um, um, called Magana. 
And it turned out that uh, my, my great-grandfather, Lee's great-great-grandfather, had been a shepherd working on this farm. A herdsman. A herdsman, yes, excuse yes. me. And uh, working on, on, his, on a, this farm in the mid-1600s, or 1700s. 1700s. And uh, so we found it. We, you know, and we we walked through, and, and it, it took us a while. Uh, Lee's it's wife was the one who said, "Ooh, there's a cross on that iron gate there. That must be the, the road up to it." So, it, it, I mean, it was it was an ordeal to, to find this spot of land on the planet where my great grandfather once worked as a shepherd. And there's a a, a little stream at the bottom of yeah. the road yeah. with a bridge that's no wider than two feet. Uh, yeah, it's and a foot it's bridge. about yeah. 15 feet long. Yeah. It's stone and like a very crude metal that's been there for hundreds of years yeah. and well, my, uh, my great grandfather walked, on, walked, walked on that, that bridge, bridge yeah. every yeah. single day yeah. into the field yeah. but at the end of the day we told Brendan uh, you know how we did and what mm -hmm. we found and Brendan what was your response about that cemetery I carried a coffin across that bridge uh, or helped to uh, a couple of weeks previous yeah. to you being there. My, yeah. my wife's father is from that village too, yeah. Magona. His brother had passed away. <laughs> he was buried with his old uncles because yeah. uh, yeah. this guy was an old bachelor. Uh, yeah. he, this was the best place to, to bring him to, to lie and rest. And yeah, while I didn't actually physically carry the coffin that day, I witnessed three guys trying to walk along something that wasn't wide enough for one guy yeah. with a coffin <laughs> yeah. over a river. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they got it without without dropping moving. The body. Well, literally not dropping anything, but yeah. it, they just you know it was it was it was done. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. the way people did things. Yeah. And there was a there was a challenge there, a problem, and yeah. they. They just did. You know, they and, and now, and now they could. They have the technology to make a better road. They don't because yeah. it's. It is why it is. change it? It is what it is. Mm -hmm. And it's still great. Yeah. Like, uh, it's amazing. Now, the, in that cemetery, it's the land so old. There's graves that were just stones, that, like yeah. no names yeah. on them. Yeah. Stones, like yeah, actual yeah. field stones. There's actually yeah. more that are unmarked. Yeah, unmarked. You would, seen, you would never know. The uh, and yeah. then there's a few, there's new ones current. So it's amazing to see ones that are. Just just look like rubble, mm -hmm. but they're graves to ones that are marble. A couple of yeah. weeks old, brand new. Yeah. 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 And That's the history idea. hits you so hard yeah. that I'm standing where my grandfather worked this land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Family members are probably in this cemetery. Mm -hmm. His siblings, they. So he worked for the Orm family. We found all this out through the, the genealogy society in Enscon, um, and North Mayo genealogy. So we found out that he moved from Sligo to Magawana to Ballina to yeah. all over, yeah. but wherever the that that land owner, he must have been his right hand man because he took he went everywhere yeah. to yeah. work all the fields that he owned the, the land so and the, wherever they moved uh, and I just told you before about the stone walls of the house that my great uh, down the road from Brendan's house we got the GPS coordinates from the same people who told me about this man uh, that my great grandfather and th then the last known address mm -hmm. that they had uh, of the, the so it, it finally in, in the detective work that Trevor in the center did it makes it seem as if he finally Finally worked enough where he had enough to get his own land mm -hmm. to have the garden house overlooking the moy. And there's yeah. whole stories That's like insane. that. Yeah. So then I ran into a gentleman in December, um, and you know Lisa, you remember her? It's going to be her father-in-law. Um, Papa Well? Papa Well. She's getting oh. married to Michael. Getting married in May. The judge. Yeah. The judge. Yeah. Uh, and then her, her father-in-law would be Seamus Judge, and he wanted to meet me because Michael went and told the story to him. So I, I go over to the jug, and this is how moving this is. When and you finally get a discovery. We are at our, like, hitting a roadblock, which you just keep pushing through uh, on our genealogical search, this this history journey. Um, so Lisa called and said, Seamus came into town just to talk to you. 
can you come over and meet at the jug and go over the jug is the pub by the yeah. way so it's, we go over the, to the jug broken jug right yeah, yeah the broken jug yes. great place great place great burger uh, so you go in there and I, I walk in and Seamus goes you must be Lee because you don't look like anyone else in this town <laughs> uh, and I, I do the best that I can oh, I, Rick I, and Ralph I, yeah I pick up <laughs> little bits I, I can't help myself but talk like I, mean, I guess it's like Madonna when yeah. she goes to England but um <laughs> so uh, so I'm very happy they accepted me yeah so <laughs> Seamus is telling me the story and he, he said so you're now he said you're looking for the malarkeys and he said, you won't be That's finding them in town. They wouldn't want to be coming to town. They wouldn't want to be knowing any police officers or law enforcement. They were... They were criminals. Apparently, they were... They were, they were, they were putching makers, moonshine yeah. makers. Oh, so they're like the Kennedys. But, they're, but he yeah. said, not, and not just putching makers. Not, yeah. They were the still makers. And not the still makers, like, oh, they make stills. The best the stills. The best stills. Yeah. So they there's the a whole yeah. Out, yeah. outlaw guys, like the popcorn Sutton of, of, uh, yeah. uh, of putching. Yeah. So that's so, something to be proud of. So yeah. anyway, yeah. Yeah. this man proud. knew all that history. <laughs> this local man gave me more history about them. He goes, uh, the reason why you can't find their records is because they didn't go into town. They didn't want And I guarantee, records. he goes, I'm almost sure this is your family. Yeah. And then he goes, so, and you're looking for their gardens. Yeah. And I said, yeah, oh yeah, we found them. He goes, let me tell you where the house is. Yeah. He goes, no, I didn't tell Michael this, his son. <laughs> he goes, you know where Clean's Road is? And Clean's in school, I see, yeah, uh, or Collins, right? Collins, Collins, Collins. So, um, stop trying to talk. Stop trying. To well, talk. I gotta say it right because it's Collins. <laughs> so, you're uh, Volca. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to say it right, not sound like an idiot, and say Balina. It's Balana. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, now, that's the road he lives on. He said, so you go down the road, and you make a right. Mm -hmm. You go down. You hit a T. You make a left. He goes and. Then, the house would be on the left hand side in the field overlooking the moy that's where that would be that's your cardin's family he goes they're still there mm -hmm. and they, i shivered yeah I'm like, because now I can shake a hand of a cousin. My gram never met her mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, your grandmother, ne your mom never met her mom? No, 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 she died when she was 10 months old. Oh, my God. Yeah. And she was raised by her Irish grandmother. Um, who, uh, so that, you know, that... That's who, one of the things that who makes, may makes pushing it so, here. It yeah. adds to yeah. it. That's crazy. Yeah. They were outlaws yeah. here. I, I th yeah. What you what you guys are doing yeah. is phenomenal, and I, I, and I think and I think you're I think you're offering up no. experiences that people don't even realize that they need. Yeah, so, you know it's what I mean. A, Agreed. It's so, a, it's something for the soul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really yeah. is. Like yeah. I, I, there was like, one other thing I was going to say to you, Marky, because it, just in terms of I forgot the, the way we're delivering this. No. Yeah. Um, when people go on tours and again we don't yeah. like the word tours but it's relevant to what yeah, we're yeah. doing a lot of the time let's say the average uh, american irish couple come to dublin and uh, they see what is already established as a very well-worn path for 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 tourists right they can find themselves sitting on a bus for maybe two or three hours mm -hmm. the stuff that we're going to bring you to you're going to be 20 minutes mm -hmm. tops seven or travel. eight days yeah 20 minutes to get to where you need to go to see what you need to see but it's personalized it's not yeah. like no. you're not on a you're no not on a bus. if you, you want to spend in a six tube hours looking out a window yeah. you're yeah, going to nothing good you're going to be out you're going to use your time out yeah. on the ground right rather yeah. than getting to the place because yeah. mm -hmm. the place is there yeah right you're going to be right in the middle of it so if you want to go and spend six hours at the cage of fields or yeah. go stare go or paint yeah. on a cliff or yeah. overlooking down, uh, down patrick's head yeah. uh, and just outside of bally castle mm -hmm. and and look at Dunbrus, the, the sea stack. Dunbrus stack. Yeah. If you if you you can sit there and stare at that and question reality. Yeah. How is that real? And, and people photograph it. It's it's yeah. it's one of the most famous photographed yeah. landmarks in the world. I gotta get my mom over there. And yeah. your mother would love it. Yeah. So if that's you want to do that. 
I want to do that. Go on that trip. Don't tell her. Yeah. We'll t- yeah. yeah. Don't tell her I'm planning on Don't tell on anybody. Yeah, yeah, don't tell anybody. It's so going to be a surprise. What we're trying to facilitate is like if you were a painter or, or a photographer and you want to go stare at this, get inspired by it to paint, to take photographs. To write a song. Yeah, yes. anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We uh, learn. Just we find can, yourself. We'll teach you how to take the photograph. Yeah. We've got uh, professional photographers, really? artists, musicians yeah. that will mm-hmm. be involved in this project. And every no. day will be that organic, outdoorsy kind of experience. So, and every evening, you'll get an opportunity to reflect on it and to realize what you've learned. Sometimes you see things when you're traveling, yeah. something important. And you don't realize and you what don't, it is. No, yeah. it doesn't hit you. Yeah. So what we like to do is validate your day's work or your day's uh, interaction with our countryside by just reminding you. And that might be done in the through film, through video, through song, mm-hmm. through whatever. We have a lot of different ideas that are, are already yep. uh, creating a bit of a fuss. I have to go back over and vlog. There's, um, yeah, go there's it. tremendous beaches there. Brendan's got yeah. pri- like not, not private, but still beaches that you don't see in the, brochures yeah. that you need to know where they're at to get to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, like You needed a guide like Brendan who's going to give you the history of what it is. And then as you're standing there in awe with your dro- jaw dropped. I remember being in Ireland, you were just, everyone's like, hey, can we? And you're like, <laughs> you're like I know every place. To go, yeah. You know, just get in. Go. So, we're going here, yeah. we're going here, we're going here, we're going here, we're going here. We're going here, we're going here. And every place we stopped, it but was like. Do you know what we did, Marky? What? Do you know yeah. what we did yeah. that day? If you what? think about it, like you're you're selling me way too high here. What we did was, <laughs> I stood outside my door, and you guys came came on a bus. I right. I'd arranged the the previous evening with uh, my friend Robin that I was going to right. bring you guys on a tour. So we drove the bus in a straight line down one road where we got two abbeys. Mm-hmm. We got the River Moy. We came out onto the main road going for Clala. So that was one turn. And then we got the beach, no, sorry, the pier in Clala. We got the Round Tower in Clala. We got the Deanery in Clala. And then we pointed the bus out of town. And it never turned it went to until the it got to Ballycastle. Mm-hmm. That, that wasn't hard for me to do because I... <laughs> Yeah. All I did was point at the bus in a straight line. Yeah. And, and that's how it and is along that And we drove past it. Road. That's, that's <laughs> the Atlantic yeah. way. I realise yeah. yeah. But what I would say, and it's, maybe I fooled you some way, I started talking a bit of Irish and it was like, oh my God, you know. Yeah. He's brilliant. We're going to teach yeah. you some Irish too. Yeah. Yeah. But if I decided the next time to point the bus in the, in the direction. other direction mm-hmm. and make a few turns, we'll, we'll find an equally interesting mm-hmm. yeah. itinerary. Yeah, because it is all there. We, we're we're spoiled. Yeah. I can't I can't stress enough how many people, especially from here, need to need to at least yeah. entertain this opportunity. Yeah. I, I, because they'd be foolish not yeah. to. Yeah. Well, the, you know, I agree. The reception and the interest that we've gotten so far um, in this area has been overwhelming. It it's, it's when you know, when can I leave? When can I go? Mm-hmm. You know and when. Uh, Oh my God! I have to do that. I've done two international trips with Lee. One of them was to Iceland, and Mm -hmm. and Iceland is is primordially beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But nothing like if I had to choose, Ireland was Mm -hmm. the place. Yeah. So that's nice to say that. With with this, like, well, you guys aren't jerks. We want to make it a different experience for people. uh, You're welcoming and loving. I got so many hugs. (laughs) Here's here's the thing: people here are sometimes often they're they're a little bit skeptical of taking these tours uh, because you see this stuff and you hear some bad stories about like the time you spend on the bus and you feel like you've just been um like taken advantage of so you feel like sheep but okay so yeah you you leave jfk or some one of the airports boston i want to be the herdsman so yeah so you fly over you land in dublin you get on a bus You spend two days in Dublin. You'd beeline over to the Cliffs of Moher. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe see the Ring of Kerry, uh, the Daniel Peninsula, maybe. Uh, depend- stop in, in Galway. You have an hour or two there, and then you get on the bus and you drive back in Dublin. You get on the plane and fly over, fly home. Oh, stop, kiss the stone. Yeah. And then... Don't forget the Blarney Stone. But, yep. but you, can, you can do that if you want. Yeah, it's there. It's awesome. Do. Like, yeah. Yeah. if that's really what yeah. you want to do. Yeah. But... Stop along the way and yeah. see what's in those yeah. towns. Mm-hmm. They're, they're yeah, all great activities. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah, but, but I think, I think what we're point, doing is different. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the point of it is, is you guys are going in between the lines. Yeah, yeah. those yeah. things are it's wonderful the, it's to see. And, and it's, it's in between the lines. What is the line? 
you've got the ocean. We're actually going to go out into the ocean as well. So yeah. we're not even between lines. We're, we're, we don't have lines. You're off, con you're off the continent. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, you can get on a boat and go fishing for seven days. You're going to be out wait, in deep sea. Wait, wait, wait. Can I go to that Star Wars island? Yes. Yeah. 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 Michael Skagel yeah. Island. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to for a million dollars. <laughs> no, it's not. Is no, it? if you no. give me a million dollars, I'll bring it. I, to my <laughs> Marky, I know right where to go to get there. I just need you to get over there with me and get on a boat. I already yeah. skill. It was a skilly. It's it's skilly, mango. skilly. Yeah. But but I will also say, and I, you will never hear me saying something negative about any of the established uh, oh, no. Irish yeah, no, tours. No, 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 never. No, no. I. I but like uh, I'm so proud of what people yeah. have done to, to create yeah. that business yeah. and it's a dynamic yeah. one and yeah. It's, yeah. but we want to show it's, it's lively between, Skellig Michael Mickle yeah. is a rock it's a st sea stack one of the beaches where I can bring you right I was going to say right now but right, right, right now when you get over <laughs> 30 miles from my house has two sea stacks just like that mm -hmm. that are about a half mile closer to the shore do you remember when you were in Cage of Fields, that old cliff top? Yeah, yeah, we're up, the, like there was the yeah. marshlands up there yes, and it yeah. was, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. somebody turned the bus there and went back home. If you'd have gone yeah, another just, three yeah. miles it's yeah. gorgeous. around the next bend, yeah. you would have seen something that's nearly identical to Skelly. Son of a bitch! Yeah. 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 Who turned the bus around? Brendan! Yeah, the, these, these, these two rocks in the, in the, in the How bay. How are we supposed are to know Star Wars was going to utilize Ireland in a, ni in a nice way? Who could have guessed it? Yeah. Who could have guessed it? But you could have, if we went three more miles, you could have been like, just like that, and I would have been like, I felt like I was already there, so now i got to go back, though. Yeah, but I'm worried mm -hmm. that if I told you, then you might have brought Star Wars and then ruined it. No. We don't no, want to touch it. I don't know anything. You're not with George Lucas? No. I thought you were. They won't hire me. I thought you were friends. Sorry. No, so, no. I, I wanted to touch to on flannels. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to touch on that. Like, so all those other great uh, tourism yep. pieces are there. The stuff in the middle, the little pubs on the way to the way to them are, are sometimes missed, and we want to make sure you get to see them. But that's 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 the heart. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the soul. Yeah. And that's what I think. Then you yes. can go to the Blarney Stone. You yeah. you can hit. Guinness in Dublin or Jameson or Bushmills or all if you like or all of them or all you can just go on a distillery and They're brewery fun. tour yeah. so uh, like try to personalize it but guess so. what in Ballina we've got a beautiful little whiskey distillery mm -hmm. it's called Connacht Whiskey and it's a fantastic product yeah. and they run a tour and a tasting session and they'll educate you about where the whiskey came from and why it tastes like the way what colour it is why it's that colour We've got a, a craft brewery just down the road in uh, Cross Malina. Real deal. Fantastic product. You can go in there and uh, you can basically pick your drinks so you're going to have a dinner that night back in the hotel. That's something we want to do. And then, There's you not much that we don't have, yeah. actually, in our yeah. area. The yeah, more, the more I talk about of, this, the yeah. more impressed I get. Do you, yeah. do you, do you <laughs> remember the, the... I want to go there. Marky, do you remember the, the journey Sorry. we took? We we just left and started walking around through town, and we found our way through this alleyway, and we ended up into the woods, this deep, perfect Irish woods, that I've, yeah. like magical woods. Yeah, I was it, like, it was something out of a film. That's, yeah, like yeah. fairies and stuff that pop out. Yeah. That's Balik yeah. Woods, the castles yeah. there. I've had we, dinner we, we walked, several we, we times. We went through, and it was like, oh, there's a castle. There's yeah. a castle. Oh, yeah. Fairy tale. Oh, yeah. And cool. you there's can tell castle. me a little, yeah. Yeah. Brendan, you can yeah. tell me the date, because I don't have it on, on the bar, how old that's from. That's from the French ship, right? The, the Spanish no, ship? it was actually a Spanish, Spanish uh, ship. Uh, Spanish wreck, the Spanish Armada. So the whole bar's made out of it. The bar. It's the whole back end of the ship. The owner was a collector of a lot of things. He's got a, a museum of fossils in the basement. And I I'm talking Jurassic quality fossils. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got an armory. So if you're interested in the old battles, you said you liked your history and your mm -hmm. graveyards, you can see the helmets and the swords and the full plates that these guys use. In the we were there. Why didn't we go see them? Because you were doing other stuff. There's so we much were to rock do. Stars. Oh, yeah. You yeah. got to ask the questions. There's so much to do. So <laughs> I was just filming people. I was an idiot. But these guys have eaten in the castle. Lee got I, engaged yeah. in the castle. Yeah. I wanted to bring that up. Yeah. Do you realize, like, okay, so Lee proposed... I didn't know. I think I knew you were going to get married. I think I knew you got the ring. I think I knew. Yeah, we talked about hmm. it. But then... It's, I said it might happen. Oh, yeah, he said it might happen. And yes. then it happened, and it hit Facebook, whatever. But when he got back, I said to him, I said, because Lee's not like a public person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah, very, yeah. you know. And I said to him, I said, I said, were you nervous? What? He's like, I was sweating bullets, man. I was, yeah, he he was. was. I went to the bathroom right before I was sweating. And I said, well, what, what finally gave you the courage? He goes, the steak was so good that yeah. I had to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Exactly, the drunken bullets. <laughs> 
He goes, he goes, if I go back and this steak's terrible, I'm not going to ask. But if yeah. the steak's so, delicious, I had I'm a steak ask. that was flambéed in Jameson, and it, it's mm. unbelievable. This man made it happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't know I was going to. It was I, that night, didn't you yeah. ask that I day wanted, to do it that so night? So that a quick story. I wanted this to happen in Ireland. I lost my grandfather while we were over there. Uh, three days in, the day I was going to propose right. to Desiree, yeah, that's right. I uh, that. by a fjord uh, on, on western edge of Ireland or of Mayo. Killery Harbor. Yeah, Killery Harbor. Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. A gorgeous, gorgeous area, uh, remote, gorgeous. So I was going to do it there. Uh, but Des was sick, and I lost my grandfather that same day right before. So beeline back to this gentleman's house. Um, his wife, Anne Marie, is awesome, took care of her, uh, nursed her back to health a couple days later, met up with Jimmy, uh, picked him up in Dublin, back, long story. They wanted to see something their first day. I said, tonight's the night, Brendan. It's a Friday. If if you can get, I said, how do you think we can get dinner uh, at the, the castle? At and castle. he said, I, I don't think so because it's it, it's going to be busy. We didn't make reservations. It's a castle. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. you're not this, following. I said, I'm going to go out to Don Patrick. It's not an Arby's. Yeah. It's a castle. No. No. So yeah. we're going out to Don Patrick for today. Call me if you can, Brendan. Uh, schmoozed them, I think, called and said that we were Coke execs, got us a table. Uh, Coca Cola. Yeah, Coca Cola execs. El Chapo. Got us, yeah, yeah, got us. Um, Got us tables for six of us. Uh, nobody knew other than Brendan that it was probably going to happen. Um, and then the so I was still trying to find my way of doing this, and I wasn't sure, but that was might have been the night. That's how nervous I was, and because I didn't want it to be. Um, if the steak was subpar, ordinary, it, it, it would you know the night wouldn't have been as magical. That's funny. So the steak was fantastic. That's it was very better. Important. Yeah, but but, but yeah. in Lee's mind, he rewarded her with an engagement because the steak because rewarded the steak. him with yeah. happiness. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was I'm thrilled. I'm so happy. No. I'm gonna ask you to marry yeah. me. It's because he knew a guy that could get him in. <laughs> get sure. the steak. Yes. So he yes. made it happen, yes. and, uh, so, and he's I, the reason why I'm engaged. <laughs> and uh, I, I, can I just qualify yeah, something? No. I did not say uh, yeah. executives from Coca-Cola. Yeah, yeah. What I said was important American mm, people, yeah, yeah. which was yeah. which was taken as being yeah. a business venture or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. I hope no. Well, I, I you, never use that word, but yeah. um, you can you can you can add five percent to when <laughs> when that happened. Uh, I can't even remember what did you do. You just turned around. And oh, you know, okay. So there's you see if this fits. There, yeah. Yes, yes. So yeah. here's the joke with that. I was down with a broken leg. Hey, you're in the most magical place on earth. Yeah. When you write poetry, yeah. like yeah. why does it come out so? Because I'm a, a terrible person, <laughs> a Vulcan. Yeah. That's great. So anyway, there's a backstory to that, and it was meaningful to Desiree because I was down for so long prior to this trip with a broken leg. I found, I jumped off a rock, found another one to land on, broke my leg in terrible places. Is it when we harassed you in the hospital? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. So then, and I had the pink cast. And he's the rotten person, right? So <laughs> then, That's when anyway, fast popular. forward, I'm better. We're going to Ireland. I decided we're going to take once I'm better and walk around. I can do this, and, and I want to keep Desiree. So, um, <laughs> what? I want to keep her. I want to keep her. So, she's in the next room right she's, now. Yeah. yeah. It's sleeping away. So, or or she's proud? not. Are so, you proud, you're proud of your family? I'm very proud so, of my nephew. So, I am so proud of him. <laughs> Anyway, the whole time I was down, I was bored uh, and rehabbing. I was purchasing clothing and gear and everything else they could find for her to go on these excursions because she didn't have waterproof jackets and stuff like that. So, er and I get deals. So everything I bought, you should do that. She was working past my house, so I would say, on your way home, stop and see if this fits. And they did it like forty times. Um, and that's where see if this fits came. So from. I didn't have the. It would if I tried to say something poetic, will it would come me? out wrong. Yeah, yeah, it would come out wrong. We, so we get me dessert. I lost the ring five times that day. <laughs> More steak. You lost yeah. it five More times. Steak. Yeah, I, I like I like panic lost. Like I, I, even well, though he texts me six times a week, going, "Did I leave my wallet at your place?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know. Anyway, 
I'm sitting there after I come back from like wiping my forehead off and sweating, and the steak was unbelievable. Uh, Jesus, Lee, what were you jumping rope in the attic? Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I peeled an apple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I, not that I thought she would ever say no, but I was nervous, and I wanted. Why to do would right. she say no to yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So then I I leaned over to her. Why no one? I was waiting for the moment. Brendan was talking to Anne Marie. Uh, Jimmy was engaged in another conversation and no. you did it when no one was paying attention yes one of us was yeah, yeah. so because somebody had to have a camera ready just, <laughs> just in case she well, said no because <laughs> it would have well, been no. really funny <laughs> so in the, oh, in the meantime viral. Yeah. Oh. one of our other friends was was ready with oh, kind of ready now she didn't know well actually no we knew they were had their phones out like we all do Americans yeah. were all staring at their phones and they were taking pictures of the food and I I leaned over to Desiree and I'm like here um, see if this fits and she's really not paying attention and i'm like here let's see if it fits she said what <laughs> and she's looking at it like Re- what really like in, in amazement yeah so i caught her off so uh, so off guard like she didn't think i was going to propose in the first place because she knows me 25 years and she knows that that was the furthest thing from my my like marriage yeah commitment yeah. Yeah. well no uh, after yeah, a few people. Yeah. failed attempts uh, I, I learned don't understand why I you thought failed. I shouldn't I do it <laughs> uh, so this is turning so, into the the Lee life I, story yeah, here yeah, isn't it anyway I'm anyway, getting bored yeah, man yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so Lee, anyway call lifetime and, and no sure but so happens. that beautiful awesome castle is where it happened the and, lifetime movie would be the man who asked a proposal yeah, over a so that that beautiful awesome castle has happened there that's, so that that's thing the point of that this. could happen Jesus to somebody Christ else me. be inspired to do it that like way sober or <laughs> or have a wonderful wedding there and yeah, we in the meantime too. you can yeah. do that as well yeah. so i think it's cheaper to, throw, to, to bring a wedding to, America, to, to Ireland. It, I bet it's cheaper to bring a wedding to Ireland than I'd it is to probably I'd expect so, yeah. put yeah. 300 yeah. people in a room here. And a hell of a lot more memorable. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And yes. you'll have a backdrop you know. that so, no one has. Yes. And, the, right. and so, the stakes are wonderful, I hear. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. might yeah. actually, yeah. Uh, they might they might cause they might cause proposals. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, they are yeah. that good at the Belize Castle. so good, you might get married. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the name of the stake, yeah. just ironically, is this bull? Is this real? This is real. Okay. This is real bull, right? This is real, okay. The name of it is the Drunken Bullock. It's the signature dish at uh, Bleak Castle. Nice. So How that. apt, the Drunken Bullock. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Was oh, the, totally. The you know, man who drinks whiskey by the pint. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, that was yeah. a, that was yeah. a yeah. different yeah. day's right, work. So yeah. <laughs> you, guys are, you, you guys are off and running? Yep. Yes, so it's, it's, in, it's, oh, it's yeah. already going. Yeah, we've this got a client list and we're, yeah, we're busy. Yeah. <clears throat> we're busy. And the yeah. website is, one more time. The website is takemehometours.com. Com. And Facebook Take Me Home Ireland, Take Facebook. Me Home Ireland yeah. on Facebook. Our, our Facebook, actually, I just say our website uh, took a bit of a hit. We've, it's under construction. Yeah. So the best place to get that yeah. information is on the Facebook page Facebook. at the mm-hmm. moment. Yeah. Yes. I can help you right I need to this. talk to you. Yeah, yeah. So... Look, yeah, we're we're running, I, we're busy, we're we're happy doing what we're doing. And I'm we're so very happy. much appreciative of you know the, the, the response that in particular I've got as a visitor to your to your country. We're actually really good people here in yeah. northeast yeah. Pennsylvania. I have found yeah. that out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Some of you know I never doubted it. A lot of people do. Yeah. I <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at look at how he's almost dressed like a Boy Scout, but yeah. not. Yeah. He's got like the yellow around his neck. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. You're not gonna lose no. it, are you? <laughs> I love you to right. Detley. You're one of my closest friends who I hate the you, most. You actually uh, married me. That's important. I mar- no, I didn't marry you. No. You performed a ceremony. I, 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 that's yes. terrible. <laughs> I'll show. Did Brendan ever see the video? No. I saw some I stuff from photographs. You, but you I know, I have the, the whole video. video if you want to see it. Yeah. Um, I've heard all about it. You know. <laughs> 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 thank you so much for yes, doing that. Pleasure. Pleasure. Like, seriously, thank you, man, like Pleasure. you don't have to come here, but we're happy yeah. to have you. Yeah. Yes. yeah well, hopefully it'll be a regular thing. And then now, I'm yeah. hoping I'm hoping I'm gonna come over pretty soon, probably in the next six, seven months, maybe. Yeah, cool. please do. Well, well, if not, when's gonna, the best time to go? June, Anytime. June. Starting mm-hmm. June, I would say. Alright, I'll call my mom. And then <laughs> after that it's July <laughs> and August and September and October and November and December. <laughs> it's and it's pretty good in January and February. Do you guys get snow? But March it's St. Patrick's season. So you need to come to America for that because obviously that's the 
the best all right, place. All right, so, so, so <laughs> from, Next month. from, from yeah. April till February, we all go to yeah, Ireland, Ireland, and then yeah. we just have the exchange program just one month. Yes, exactly. come back it's here. Just, okay. It's not a date range. It's just ever. It's yeah. in forever. Ever. Yeah, keep coming. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thanks, I think you're Marky. done. Yeah. Go thank home. You. <laughs> <laughs>